Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I am in the mood to rant against the WWE. Not sure what I'm gonna call this there, but just in the mood to bitch, moan and complain about that gay ass company. Getting fucking sick of it. Okay, I've been watching this shit my whole life since I'm a baby. I've been watching wrestling. Alright? So I know a little bit about what I'm talking about. And this truly is a very bad era. The product right now is very, very, very bad. To say that it sucks is an understatement. Everything sucks. You have The Rock right now there. But I'll get to that in a second. Everything sucks. The matches suck. Wrestling from like 30 years ago was more hardcore than the wrestling we have now. It is watered down. It is pathetic. WWE is now softcore wrestling. Okay, in the old days you had, let's say in the Attitude Era, you had hardcore wrestling, which would be weapon shots, etc. And you'd have regular wrestling. In the regular wrestling, you'd have blood in the regular match. You'd, you'd have head moves, you know, pile driver, shit like this. You'd have aggression. And now it's way tamer than that. It's not aggressive as much. It looks even faker. No more head moves. No big stunts. No high flying. Nothing that looks dangerous. So it is basically softcore wrestling. It's like wrestling for children. Like on Saturday Morning Slam. It's almost the same <laughs> between Raw and Saturday Morning Slam. Difference is, is a couple of head moves. You'll get a little punch. But it really is like wrestling for kids. Even on Raw. It's rest holds, little weak looking moves. They took everything out of wrestling. It's not just swearing, you know, you can get by without swearing. You know, seeing, you know, sexuality with the women brings in ratings, but you don't absolutely, you know, have to have it, I guess, there. You can watch uh, TNA if you're, <laughs> if you're into women, I guess. Uh, it's sad that you have to put it like this there. But PG, it's, it, it's only moderate violence. That's all they can do. So in that way, it does affect the product. Hitting someone with a weapon looks too dangerous. That's why they can't do it in the head. and They don't do dangerous looking stunts because it could scare the children. It has to be with the children in mind, including wrestling, the matches. That's why it doesn't look real. It's not like scary. Oh, this guy's getting fucked up bad. It's not like that. It's all child-friendly, softcore wrestling. That's how sad it is. And everything else is bad. The storylines, you know, the GMs, everything is boring. It's shit. It's all shit, okay, straight up. There's nothing that's really good about wrestling. The belts don't really matter like they used to, okay. And people are going to say, hey, The Rock's back, WWE's good again. I say, bullshit. They have sucked very fucking badly. It says worse, the worst that it's ever been. McMahon doesn't do shit to change. He does not try to improve the ratings. He simply brings back The Rock and he makes Rock go against Punk that has legit complaints about the company. And Rock, little jokes there like Cookie Puss is not enough to make me enjoy a show. The shit sucked. The whole show sucked. We had a world title match right back against Punk and it was awful. How can the TLC match for the world title be so goddamn cheap? Being TLC should give you violence. No, 
You're not allowed because it's only moderate violence. Little shots uh, like this with the chair, not, not too dangerous. You can't make it look like you're hurting each other on the wrestling show because you're going to scare the kids. You understand how shitty it's become? In the old days, an opening match on WCW Thunder between some cruiserweights, you'd have more action and a shitty match like that compared to this whole TLC for the World Heavyweight title. You know, how can the World Title match feel like nothing? It's not even important. It's just shit. You know, and that's pretty much a, the biggest kind of raw that you're going to get with The Rock coming back, a World Title. It's the, the, the best they can do, basically, while being PG with the shit roster that they have. And it sucks. Just Rock coming out saying a couple jokes after watching three hours of complete garbage. That's not going to impress me. I'm not going to bow down and kiss their ass. Yeah, WWE's good. Thanks, McMahon, for giving me god-awful crap just to give me two seconds of a PG sellout with some PG material. Fuck you. I ain't going to bow down to this. I ain't gonna fucking suck their dick the whole time just because Rock is there. The shit sucks. It still sucks. You know, even though The Rock is there, he's not even great right now. I understand people are nostalgic. He just says, finally, and you mark out, oh, my childhood. It's like I'm living in fantasy land. I'm having a great time. You're all marking out like Justin Bieber fangirls at the moment. But in reality, it's not that great. The show sucks dick. Little cookie puss jokes are not enough to make me be happy with this product. I'm sorry if this offends you, but you know I'm just being real here. And for these PG goofballs, oh, uh... You guys are just living in the past, blah, blah, blah. You're stuck in the Attitude Era. Let me make it clear that this is the worst of all eras I have seen starting from the Hogan Era. Okay? Even the Hogan Era. We're talking wrestling from 30 years ago. Not just the Attitude Era. But 30 years ago, you had more violence than today. Okay, they were allowed to hit each other with chairs. People, oh, it was PG back then. Yeah, and, and it was way more hardcore. Well, it wasn't PG there. I talked about this in the past. But whatever it, the fuck it was, it was more hardcore. Chairs to the head, which you don't have today. You had blood in Hogan matches. You had head bumps. Okay, head bumps. They were doing this 30 years ago. Okay, way better talent. Hulk Hogan alone is bigger than the whole roster of today. And, and that includes The Rock. Remember when Rock went up against Hogan and the whole company turned, or I mean the whole fucking fans, and all the fans turned on The Rock. That's that's because he didn't compare to Hogan. They pushed Rock so bad during that time. He was a big giant face. Hogan was a heel. They tried to make him look evil. And when they went <laughs> head to head, bam, the whole crowd turned on The Rock because Hogan was such a great, big, real wrestling star, even compared to The Rock. So compared to Cena and crap like this, None of them compared to Hogan, and you had Savage, Warrior, other guys like Jake the Snake, Mr. Perfect, Ted DiBiase, Andre the Giant, the, the, they were all great. Fuck, even the jobbers like the Brooklyn Brawler had more character than the wrestlers of today. It's very sad, very, very sad. WWE sucks, that is the reality. Okay, just look at their YouTube. They don't even have a million subs. I think they have 800-something thousand subs. 
that's an established company, okay, with uh, viewers on TV. You know, they plug their YouTube every second on TV. They've been around for 60 years. And they don't even have a million subs on YouTube. Okay, guys, like this PewDiePie guy has four times more subs than WWE simply for playing little video games. How pathetic is this? This proves to you that WWE is not really big and mainstream like they claim to be. They're not that great. And all of those subs are wrestling fans. If it wasn't for wrestling fans, they'd have like 10,000 subs or something like this. Imagine that. PewDiePie just doing garbage in his room, playing games, screaming for 10 minutes. Gets more subscribers, four times more than all your superstars combined on, on YouTube. How pathetic. Okay, the company sucks dick. It is irrelevant. It's a fucking cartoon now. They've become a gay fucking circus for children. Seriously, nothing is good about it. Punk can cut promos, but realistically, you're watching a three-hour show, and there's like ten minutes of stuff that is acceptable. The rest of the time, you're like this. Uh, uh, you know, I almost pass out at every raw. If it wasn't for you guys, I would have probably stopped watching. I'd probably watch, you know, once a month Raw or something. I watch Raw every week and I watch SmackDown once in a while, like like once a month if I'm lucky. Okay, because the shit fucking sucks and it is very, very, very terrible. Fuck you if you want to, you know, give shit to me. And insult me for saying the truth about wrestling. I know a lot more about wrestling than 99% of this community. I know there's guys that have been around even longer than me there. And they should know that the shit sucks. Look at the old wrestlers. Look at matches of old wrestlers stabbing each other with forks. In the forehead and shit. This was in the 70s and stuff. <laughs> Even the wrestlers from those days. Fucking 50 years ago. Look at some of their vids on YouTube. They have a shitload more character. Than the wrestlers of today. They wrestle even with more moves. Even 60 years ago. They had more moves per match. Than the wrestlers today. How pitiful. That's how bad it is. Everything sucks in WWE from top to bottom. The women, the fake tag team division, the titles suck. Everything motherfucking sucks and you know it. What a fucking waste of time. Uh, fucking shit. It sucks. It's garbage now. Fuck you WWE. And fuck Vince McMahon for turning on his loyal fans. We spend years, wasted years of our lives playing games, doing everything, spent a shitload of money, and what do we get at the end? We get a big fuck you, we get a big G-rated show full of cocks and garbage, and it's just fucking horse shit all around. Fuck you, McMahon. Uh, you deserve to motherfucking go out of business. Learn to treat your fans with respect. Give us what we want. What's this shit about only catering to kids? Cena saying... We're all nine-year-olds, you know, that's a sign that we should have stopped right there. That was basically them telling us that they're a kid's company. And they are a kid's company. It's a motherfucking joke. It's a cartoon. Just look at it. Nobody gets hurt. The fucking heels don't get any heat. The faces are fucking goofball, fucking Superman, retarded mongoloids. Fuck you. Company sucks. Alright, until next time, peace.